Hey everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead. If you don't already know, my name is Janet and I am so happy you are here. And you guys, if you are one of my regular family members who are here all the time, you know I've been gone and I'm so excited that you are here and that I am back. I have missed you all so much. You guys, I was having withdrawals. I was like, where are my people? Every time we would make a stop on that cruise ship. Yes, I've been on a cruise in case you're new here. I would be like, I've got to get internet service. I need to check in with my people. Uh, I just didn't have enough time to really catch up. I tried to give you little updates on the community tab and over on Instagram at um, my underscore modern underscore homestead homestead day homestead underscore days i think is how it goes <laughs> you know oh it's been such a crazy week we had so much fun but boy yes i missed y'all and y'all i did great i did not get sick or seasick i thought i would because that little ship the waves were not a problem at all we had beautiful weather the whole time and it you couldn't ask for a calmer sea, but my husband asked and someone told him it was the wind causing the boat to rock so much. Now my head is still swimming. I did perfect the whole cruise. I would lose my balance and get woozy, but I never got sick, which is wonderful for me because normally that's not the case. But that last morning when we had to disembark, uh, Bark. <laughs> I woke up sick. I either got food poisoning or I picked up a stomach bug, something. Because it was not pretty. I was in that bathroom every few minutes. And y'all, this was so embarrassing. When we had to get off of that ship, we had that long, long line. And y'all, I'm serious. I couldn't stay out of the bathroom. I wasn't throwing up. It was the other. Every couple of minutes. It was hot. I was pouring sweat. We got down to the line where they check your passport and your birth certificate or whatever they need to check. I looked at that lady. I was about to hit the ground. I said, I don't know what to do. I got to get out of this line. I'm sick. They rushed me out of there. On got to the bathroom somehow, seeing spots. I was in that bathroom forever because I was afraid to come out. But I made it out. And I couldn't stand, so I asked the lady, could I sit down? And I thought once I sat down, I'd be okay. She was like, nope, you're not walking out of here. She said, where's your family? <laughs> so I asked, I mean, she asked it, and I told her, I mean, I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> Y'all was so embarrassed. I started crying. I felt so bad. And this old gentleman was he got the wheelchair and brought it over. I said, I'm so sorry. You shouldn't have to wheel me off this out of here. I should have been wheeling him. Bless his little heart. And so he said, I tell you what. He said, the bench and parking area is right outside. I'm going to wheel you outside and get you on that bench. And then your family can pick you up here. And by the time he got me in the wheelchair, my family, had, they were coming out from having their luggage scanned and their passports or their birth certificates checked. I had my own personal security <laughs> checking my stuff. <laughs> Y'all, it was so embarrassing. But finally, about halfway home, I got to where I felt like I could open my eyes and function a little bit. I was refusing water because I knew it was going to go straight through me, but I knew I was getting dehydrated. I didn't know what to do. But I made it. I stayed in bed the whole day when we got back. I felt so bad. My sweet daughter, she did every bit of the laundry when we got back home. She worked from the time we got home till bedtime that night. Oh, bless her heart. I've got to do something special for her. But I'm here. I've been woozy, so I haven't done a video. I haven't felt like really doing anything. I still feel like I'm on the ship sometimes. But I said, I've got to see my people. We've got to do some savings. So here we are. We're going to save some money today. Surely that'll make me feel a little bit better. What y'all think? I'm leaving this here. Oh, the B 
best part, y'all, I got a surprise coming home as sick as I was. My husband told me that for our 25th wedding anniversary this year, he had already booked another cruise, y'all. Oh my goodness, it was on a bigger ship, a totally different line. We're doing Royal Caribbean for that one. We went on Carnival with our friends. Oh my goodness, we are already planning another cruise for the same time next year. I don't know if it'll be the same week, but around the same time next year. We are so excited. That was the best group. That was the best trip ever. We had the best time. I have no complaints. Even with getting sick coming off, that wasn't their fault. That wasn't my fault. That was just something that happened. Oh, I'm so excited. So, y'all, I thought my um, Let's Cruise envelope, I was never going to get to use it again. Y'all, I've got two cruises I get to use it for. I'm so excited. So, let me show you something. When we got to our room, our room was decorated with this big long banner across the top of the room and down the sides. And I think I'm going to take one of these, this one, maybe some of these smaller ones, and turn them into challenges for our next cruises. Yeah! And look, y'all, this was a bracelet you could get on the ship. It's a Pandora. And it came with the bracelet and a few of the little charms. But each day you could go back to the shops and get a new um, a new charm for that day. <clears throat> and each cruise has different charms, so you can build on it. So let's see. This was my cruise for the, I mean my charm for the first day. It's a little palm tree with the rhinestones. This one came with it. When we stopped at Half Moon K and spent the day there, we got this heart. The Half Moon K charm came with that anchor. It came with this one. It's just a little palm tree and sunsets. Uh, oh, excuse me. That was the second day. This was my... Oh, did it come with that? Uh, I think it came with this one. Sorry. A little starfish with the blue rhinestones and the dolphin. It came with it. And the cruise ship. How cute is that? Oh, my goodness. And then this was the last day of the cruise or the day be night before the last day. And it's just a little life float. It says carnival and has the little anchor. Yay! So I'm so excited to go on other cruises and collect the charms. So we're going to make challenges with those. But anyway, let's get into the savings today. We're going to start with Mickey. And this was from Mary Love Country Living. And before we left, we went ahead and scratched off the five dollars. Well, of course, we didn't know until we scratched it what it would be. But there's the five dollars for that. And then we're going to go ahead and scratch for the next time. Well, there it is, Mary. Oh, my sweet Mary. I have missed talking to her. Before we left, we were talking every day. <laughs> We call each other. We text each other all day long. So I missed my sweet Mary. I've been, I have felt so bad. I, I really haven't even felt like talking on the phone. So Mary, there she is, nine. And I'm going to go ahead. I might regret this. Yep, I did. Oh well. <laughs> nine and six. We might have to split that into two weeks, but if we do, that's all right. So let me write that in so we don't forget. Um, if I find it in, there we go. Nine and six. Perfect. All right. So, so far we've got 20, 35 in there. So another 10 would be 40. And five would be 45. Yay. Awesomeness. And this one is also by Mary Love Country Living. Job's not finished until the paperwork is done. I didn't even count my money. That was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. That's what we're working with today. I don't even have a cheat sheet. We're just flying by the seat of our pants because I had to come see y'all. I'm, I'm not kidding, y'all. I missed y'all. 
You go from spending time with you every single day to not seeing you at all. Oh, it's not fun. Let's see what we get today. Two. All right. Two into here. And this one is by Mandy's Budgeting. Mandy's Budgeting Journey in her shop. It says Mandy's Budgeting Items. And we're going to scratch off another one. I love, 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 love Mandy's Challenges because they are perfect for low budgeting or low budgeters, low savings, however you do yours. I don't do large sums for the most part because I don't have to. My husband pays all the things. These are just challenges I do for my spending, the little things I want to do. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. What in the world? And today, we just got one. So that's, isn't that so cute? I've got a new challenge from her, the new um, Every Dime Counts. I can't wait to start that one. I've already got her original one started, but I did that on Tiny, uh, Tiny Thursdays. All right, and this is my favorite. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. So let's scratch off. Let's see. We'll do this one today. It's hard to do up against that little ring. Oh, it's just two today. I'm not going to try to scratch all that off. I spent a lot of time talking. <laughs> but we'll try to get bored and leave me. I'll go back and finish that one later. So let's add two to this one. And we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And y'all, there was a guy that would come around to our dinner each night and do magic tricks. And he got to my daughter one night and he did a magic trick with her. She was counting $1 bills. And as she was counting, the $1 bills turned to $10. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't know. I don't know how all that stuff works. <laughs> I know it's just a slight and trick of the eye, but oh my goodness, that was the strangest thing. And speaking of my daughter... What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? So let's, I think I was just adding three. I don't know, but let's just roll. Oh, look at there, three again. One, two, three. And my daughter, even before she ever went on a cruise, she was like, I think I want to work on a cruise ship. I was like, well, baby, I think maybe you need to take a cruise or two just to see if you actually like cruising, if you can handle it. <laughs> yep, she's kind of convinced now that's what she wants to do. Not full-time, but she wants to be a traveling nurse. She said, well, I can travel as a nurse part-time, and then when I'm not, not under a contract, I can go work on the cruise ship. And we said, you're young, do it, try it. You might like it, you might hate it, you don't know until you do. So... She thinks she's going to at least try it. You have to be 21 first. Try it for a little while, and if she doesn't like it, she won't do it again, but at least she will have tried it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's right. Let me write my three in. it back. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Here we go. And uh oh, I forgot to get the envelopes for these. 
again. Let's roll. This is one I made for my husband. 18 wheeler roll on. I don't know if y'all can see that. The lighting's kind of weird this morning coming through the window. One again. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose that's better than nothing. Let's go to the second row. row. Let's see. Oh my goodness. One again. All right, honey, I tried. I'm sorry. I love you, and I really am excited about our cruise. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll make sure I do this plenty of times to save you some money, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This one is for my son. Let's roll and see what we get. One. Roll again. Two. There we go. One, two. Oops, we got three in all. So six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on his it says, "Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee." Whithersoever thou goest, Joshua 1, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. All right, let's see. We've got two left over. Um, what will I do with it? What will I do? You know what? I think since we owe so much on this for next week, we're going to put it with the money for next week's savings. We'll sit it right there. And we will end the video there because it's getting long, but I had to share with you about our cruise. I'm so thankful that y'all watched and stayed with me while I was gone and watched those videos that came out. And I'm so happy to see you again today. Thank you so much for joining me. You know I love it when you spend a few minutes with me. So, until we meet again, may you be blessed. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Oops, almost forgot. We got to put our change into our change jar. Here we go. It still may take a while, but we'll get there.